So on the level of the curriculum, uh, I would choose for a separate course, and so not to integrate the ideas of chess uh, into the, the whole course or into the whole curriculum, but it would be just for a few hours of, of the course I have, uh, a part of it. Uh, as I only have um, for a whole year a maximum of about nine, uh, uh, sorry, 18 hours to spend with my students, uh, so it's, uh, it, it's quite impossible to, to, to give them chess for 20 hours. So I told her in the beginning to um, have uh, for about three hours, and then Alexander said, well, that's it, quite impossible to do that in three hours. And I was now working on a, on a, a PowerPoint presentation, um, which I would use for my students to, uh, uh, in, the, in the course, in fact. And um, I realized, uh, I'm realizing that Alexander was completely right, in fact, so that he, uh, uh, that it, it is impossible in three hours, and I should probably think about four and a half hours or six hours to have my whole course teached. Um, and therefore, what I should think about is also how I could uh, use other things uh, to combine it with, with, with the things we saw here, so that, that, um, that afterwards I should not uh, renew again all things, uh, um, retake all things. Uh, which I should have done also. Um, the level of the crystals, I only want to take some elements uh, and, and especially more um, uh, examples and, and, and uh, exercises with it and their most essential background. It is not, uh, I don't have the idea as uh, for teaching my students uh, a, a whole uh, theory of this because neither I do have the, the theory of that, I don't know. I, I perhaps know one, know one percent or, 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 or even less uh, from Chris. So, but what, that what I found interesting, and that's what I also uh, discussed yesterday with Harriet because she's she's an, an expert on on, on, on the, the field, um, and what she would, would would find very useful to teach to her students. Well, that I would also take for my students, of course. Uh, the pedagogical aims of that was giving students an overview of, of some of those tools. Um, so what I want to do is dealing with these practical tools and, and, and uh, giving them to my students with some uh, theoretical background and um, we have here. Um, also showing like the ENV model and the system operator. So because that's, that's quite a good uh, thing because the students will have a frame in their head. Once you look at, at the system operator thing, you have it in mind and you will always have it in mind. So, and those are quite easy things to, to remember. Um, so I would, would like to play games with my students, like the, the things we did with the data bank. Um, that was, I found it very nice and, and we discussed it also yesterday. Like um, I thought with Tatiana, when we were standing there and we had these pictures of these animals and we had to um, to look for features which were the same uh, um, as the animal which was standing already in the middle. Mm -hmm. and, and that's nice because you also uh, will reach the group feeling for the class and, and uh, for a classroom and all those things. So that kind of things. Um, what, I, what I also wanted to do were some uh, exercises so on, on the ENV model but also on the system operator. And that was a little bit, uh, that would be a little bit harder, um, uh, Harriet told me. Um, but we had, for instance, in mind to, um, as a system, to not have too much complex, well, not complex, that's not the right word, perhaps, but to have examples uh, who um, looked very uh, unified, like a car, for instance. Not the street, as we saw here, but a car. And then you could give, in the past, there was ho a horse on which they, they, they were riding. The future would be a question, and then the, the, the uh, subsystem would be the engine, and for the, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, it would be a horse and a, a carriage, is that right? Uh, so, and then the subsystem would be the horse, and then you have the, the resemblance between the horse power and, and the engine, so that would, would also be nice. Uh, and the super system would be like, like woods and all those things, and, and then uh, roads. Time. Time, okay. <laughs> so all those things, what also would be very nice is Chico of course and, and, and that would be like an ending point because that makes the, the, the little children um, <laughs> <Just good. laughs> change their minds, 
change them and, and, and let them be able to, to change features in fact, values of features in fact. And that would be, would be uh, the whole thing. Um, and my approach would be the, the bottom-up approach in fact. So really going from very practical and useful things up to a, a more, a little more theoretical level. But, but not really that theoretical because I don't feel very um, uh, experienced, of course, in the theoretical level. And I don't think they have a, a, a real message if it is not needed at this theoretical level. So, uh, And also they will not have time to give a complete quiz course to their students. So the, the tools I would give them, they would have to integrate them into their, uh, the curriculum for kindergarten. So.